Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can terminate multiple instances based on our requirement. So, uh, for doing this, uh, we are going to use a Python script. In Python script, we are using the Boto3 module. Uh, so first, in the code, we are going to import the Boto3 module. Then, we are going to use the client, that is a Boto3 client for EC2 instance. Then, as a part of a response, we are going to use the method, which is the described instances. And based on this method, we are going to store the output of this method into a response. So then we are going to traverse the response over here. And once while tra uh, traversing the response, we are going to append the instance IDs from that response. We are going to fetch it and we are going to append it and we are going to save it in the new list. Okay. So this is the blog. I will paste this in the comments. From there you can pick. So each and every step is very well documented by me. This is my personal blog. I will share it with you. So now uh, let's start. Let's go over here. Let's search for EC2 Boto3. Let's go to the documentation. Okay. So let's copy this from here. Let's go to, okay. Now we are going to take the response so describe underscore instances i clicked on it let's take the response so now as you see uh, using this describe it is going to tell us how many instances are running currently in the system in my system you can see right now there are two servers server one and server two so first, by using describe instance, it is going to fetch the information of the server one and server two, and it is going to get a store in response. Now, let's create an empty list. New list. Now, we will use for loop to fetch the instance ID as a part of the response that we have got okay so let's do one thing for again i will take you to the documentation you should be aware what exactly we are going to do so as part of let's try As a part of documentation, you can see the response would be like this. So it would be a reservation list. So for reservation in the response and from response, we are going to select reservations. Now we are going to write a nested for loop. So now once we are inside reservations, inside reservation you can see there are there is another list. It is instances. So we will write instance in a reservation and we will traverse this instances. So I will write it over here. Okay, let me close this. Now the new list that we have created over here, we are going to append the instance ID. What is instance ID? This. We are looking for this instance ID. So we will just start from here. So it would be new list dot append instances. As a part of instance, it is going to be instance ID. So this is the instance. Sorry, it should be in single quotes. Otherwise, you will get an error. Now, let's do one thing. We will print this new list over here for your reference, where you can see what exactly was saved over here. Okay. So this is the print new list now. Once our instance IDs, 
these are the instance IDs that we have fetched now. So these instance IDs would be uh, fetched and it would be stored in our new list. That is, so this list would be containing the instance ID. Let's test it. See, so this is the first one and this is the second one. These are the instance IDs that you can see over here. F2, E2. So these are the two instance IDs. Now, this instance IDs we are going to provide in our other method to delete, to terminate the instances. Now I will go back to port port terminate. Now, terminate. See, so we are over here on the terminate instances. So here we are going to use this client and we are going to use so let's do one thing let's print this output client terminate instances so in this you will have to mention the instance ids see okay so i have taken the instance ids over here is equal to our new list that's it guys so now i will run this and this will terminate so let's first see our two instances are in running state right now i will go here so these are the two instances that we are going to delete not delete that we're going to terminate as per the aws naming convention so let's run it again yes and as you can see it has terminated so this is the json output that is it has provided let's go back and see what exactly this json output is so let's format it so see it is saying terminate instances and it is saying it is showing the instance id so this was a current state of of the instances it changed the current state and now it is in shutting down so when it fetched it was in running state so this is the response that you get so now let's go back to our ec2 instances let's refresh this and as you can see the server 1 and server 2 got terminated so that's it guys for this video i hope you like the video if you like the video please uh, subscribe and share thank you have a great day